good spot. My dad, my dad's tag he's been waiting a while for. It's been a while since he's gotten a big game animal hunt. Huh? He's having a hard time focusing in the dark. It's been six years since I've killed a, a big game animal. Six um, years. So I'm excited I finally got drawn. I'm going after a cow elk. It's finally time. He's been very patient, so we have high expectations. I've been hearing that there's a ton, even way more than, than on my hunts. This year, only there's a rabbit. Might have just spotted a cow. I'm trying to intercept it. It's pretty far though, but it's a cow nonetheless. I'm gonna try to get on him. They all hurt, but they're like 800 yards away still. They're moving away. They're moving out that opposite side. All right, so we saw about 30 elk. They were sitting in a field over here. And after we glassed them, it seems like there was 20 coyotes in that field also started running into that field howling doing whatever coyotes do so that whole herd of elk just took off they're at a full sprint and they were running at an angle away from us and there was just no way to get them I mean we glassed them and they got a mile or two away and then they just went over a hill so someone's driving the road down there but they were way down there Almost at the base of that mountain. First daylight, unsuccessful. There was workers out there in those fields, a lot going on, a lot of movement, other hunters. When you have a good spot, you know, it's a good spot for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We saw an absolutely huge bull this morning again. Just like last year, I think I got some pretty good footage of him this time also. Not when he turned, but a full frontal of him. He was looking straight at us and has pinned down about 100 yards. You zoomed in on him? Yeah. I got the full front until you could see how tall he was. You were able to see his width. But I didn't get him when he turned sideways because when he finally did, he ran. But he was only about 100 yards, huh? That was the biggest bull I've ever seen. It's a great day. I just found my first shed, huh? Adrian just spotted his first shed and it's a nice one. Alright, we took a bunch of pictures. Is it ready to pick up? Yep. First shed ever. I wonder if there's uh, the matching site out here. That'd be really cool. That would be it's awesome. It's a nice little shed. Jeez. Wow. First time putting his hands on a shed. Yeah. This is my first shed. My dad's found a little one. This is my first shed ever. Wow, we were just talking about that. Yeah. Oh, he's never found a shed out of all the... All the miles we've hiked and everything, we've never found a good shed. And this is the first one. It's an elk shed. That's tight. Look at the the burrs on this guy. Holy cow. These things are monstrous. How heavy is it? <laughs> Pretty it's heavy. Really it seems heavy. like 10 pounds. That's awesome. Now you're going to have more junk to carry. We got all this camera gear laying all over the place. So we buying all <laughs> scopes. Jeez, this actually, that's a big shed, I think. For us, at least, yeah. we're not shed hunters, or we don't find it. We never find sheds. We we're just, it's crazy. We were talking about that. It's crazy how it happens. You talk about it, and then you finally come up on it. 
it was just sticking out like this and I just saw this stuff all shiny white and stuff. That's why I'm saying I'm surprised it's super surprised it's never been found. Make me want to look for the other one now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. All right. We finally made it back to the truck after walking a few miles this morning. And that right there made it all worth it. That's amazing. After walking a couple miles, you realize this thing's heavy. It started to get super heavy. <laughs> Need to throw it in the backpack next time. That's cool. All right, let's go look for those cows. Man, we're driving deep and deep and stuff right now. This stuff is thick. No joke when it comes to riding this. This stuff's scratching up the truck like crazy. How do you like the new paint job you're getting on your truck? Man. I don't. You don't like it? The value of my truck's going down every scratch. Oh, that's a mean one. But Dang. Every, every one of these is putting new decorations on the truck. Let's see. Well, another update. What's going on? We're going to get out and we're going to glass the fields. See what we can see. Let's do it. See what we can see. So, we've been driving around a little bit. We saw elk earlier. They got spooked out. Some dude was driving around and um, there was just a lot of stuff going on with other hunters and just a bunch of stuff. So they got pushed out. So now we're just gonna glass a bunch of land here. All right guys, it's getting about that time. About that time that we should be expecting to see deer and uh, elk start moving down here. Either a good buck or a cow elk comes within range, they're gone. Or hopefully they do too. This is the first tag my dad's gotten in years, it feels like, huh? Yeah. This will actually be his first elk also if he gets it. It'd be cool if he feels both tags, but if it doesn't happen on this hunt, or tonight, we've got tomorrow morning. I don't know about tomorrow night, but if that doesn't happen, then the, the season's a month long, so we'll come back down in like a three day, for three days on a weekend or something, but this should be starting to move, so I'm gonna go down that way a little bit and see see if the elk start coming. There's an elk. It's kind of blurry. There's an elk. He's far though. Two thousand yards away. All right, guys, we have indeed spotted elk, but they're about fifteen, like a thousand yards to fifteen hundred yards that way. So uh, my dad decided they bedded down in a pretty approachable spot. I mean, the wind is not favorable at all, but uh, hopefully it works out. It's kind of like blowing hard left, and they're kind of more of an angle left, more of a straight direction. So because of that, we think that we got a, a potential of getting these. My dad's making the stock, so hopefully, I really hope we can get this one done. Elk meat is just delicious. And I think my dad's almost in range, 200 yards. Maybe two, three hundred yards, so hopefully he can make it happen. And he's getting closer. These elk finally stood up. They were bedded, and they stood up when he finally started to close some good distance, and a big group of pronghorn jumped up and uh, and started running, but they didn't scare the elk, luckily. I'm so glad, but we'll see. We're just having this really bad swirling wind, and uh, there's three cows. Two of them don't care at all, and one is on guard like crazy, like, no something up, no something's up, so, uh, hopefully it listens to the other two. Oh, yep, it's just eating now. Good, because hopefully it stays like that, because it was on guard, like, really looking out, and the other two were just eating, not caring at all, so, if that one follows, we should have a, my dad should have a, hopefully a pretty good chance. I really, really hope this happens. I think my dad took a shot. I'm all dizzy and discombobulated right now. I don't even know what's going on because, because uh, I was staring through the spotting scope so long watching him, just hoping, praying, hoping that he'll get a shot. I, that, that was an amazing stock by any means. Holy cow. He That was probably like a 1,500, 2,000 yard stock. To me, it looked like he hit one. But I'm so far away that it's hard to tell, so we're gonna have to go see. See his side of the story. I'm gonna hop in the truck, head down there really quick. If anybody deserves to punch a tag, I'll tell you, my dad is one person that really, really deserves it in my opinion. He's helped, he helps 
Um, he just, he helps us all the time with everything. He helps me on my hunts. You know, I felt, I felt kind of bad because it's been like, he hasn't been drawn in a while. And when he did, like two, three years ago for cow elk, same unit, late tag, it was unsuccessful. Didn't even see a single animal that whole hunt. Well, we saw a deer, but that's it. But, uh, so if he punched this tag, I mean, I'm super, super excited about it. Now, now there's just a deer tag we gotta come back for, but let's go see. Stalked about 1,500 yards, and um, once I got to about 180, I felt comfortable, I took a shot. Um, I know I missed. I went a little bit above the elk. So once I shot, they circled around. They actually circled around because they didn't know where the shot came from, and they came closer to me. Once they got close, I realized that they were really small for cow elk. So just sitting back, I'm watching them make sure I want to make sure 100% that I didn't hit one and I'm just going to spook them a little and watch them. If I did not hit them and none are injured, I'm just going to let them walk and I'll continue the hunt. If I did hit one, then I'll go ahead and put another shot in them, but I'm pretty confident I didn't hit one, so I'm walking towards the left. We saw some animals, but it just, it, we couldn't make it happen. Just a little bit of bad luck. And I was within 30 yards, 30 yards of some elk that were smaller. So I decided not to take them. They're about the size of a deer. The one I'm after is probably double that size. I'm trying to go after the big old cows.